Thank you for joining me. I am Mr. Rish. I hope everyone's doing well. Let's look here at this specific question in this video. Is what you see on this left side equal to what you see on the right side? Sine x dx 0 to pi over 4 is equal to cosine pi over 2 minus x dx 0 to pi over 4. What are we hinting to here? Co-function identities. You know the sine of a specific angle is equal to cosine of its complement. You can either do 90 minus theta in degrees or you can do pi over 2 minus theta in radians and the flip of this. You can do cosine of a specific angle is equal to sine 90 minus theta and you can also say in radians pi over 2 minus theta. What's the benefit of this exercise? It shows you that you can do substitutions where normally you would not. And those substitutions would help you make a complex function easier by means of a co-function identity. Look right here at the left hand side and let's just look at this. When you're looking at this, the antiderivative is minus cosine x and you are evaluating it from pi over 4 and 0. You can push the minus outside and then you can say you're doing cosine x pi over 4 and 0 and evaluate it. Cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over root 2. Cosine of a 0 is a 1. When you open everything by means of the minus, you end up seeing you have 1 minus 1 over root 2 and that right here represents your answer of this definite integral. Now look right here at the right hand side. Do a u substitution. u is equal to pi over 2 minus x and then du is equal to minus dx dx is equal to minus du. You can do new limits with regards to what you see here and 0 and pi over 4. Pi over 2 minus 0, well u1 is pi over 2. Pi over 2 minus pi over 4, it's pi over 4. What you end up seeing by means of this minus and after the u substitution you have pi over 2, a larger limit on the bottom and a smaller limit here on the top, cosine u du. You can hit everything with a minus and flip the limits around so you end up seeing you have pi over 4, pi over 2 cosine u du the antiderivative here is a sine u and you're looking at it from pi over 2 and a pi over 4 we'll do the answer right here sine of pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 4 is a 1 minus 1 over root 2 and the end result is still the same and it ends up showing that co-function identities can be brought into integrals and they can sometimes make your entire procedure easier I will allude to here only but I will not show as the purpose of this video is complete but you could technically see a function like this cosine let's say pi over 2 minus x times sine of pi over 2 minus x divided by tan of pi over 2 minus x then you could be asked to integrate this but it looks complex you can bring in the co-function identities this right here you know would be equal to sine x the complement this right here would be equal to cosine x its complement and then the tan pi over 2 minus x would be equal to cotan of x dx and then you could simplify all of this you know this right here is equal to cosine over sine you can flip it around and what do you end up seeing coming out from here you would end up seeing you'll have a sine square x dx so it's conceivable that a co-function identity can make something complex like this into something less complex and then you can integrate this onward and you should have a fairly good result but that right here is the purpose of this video it's showing you that indeed co-function identities can be substituted for what they are equal to or be replaced by what they are equal to by means of trigonometric identities thank you have a good day